All right, well, I've got a couple into towns because we're gonna need that pho again, most likely. So let's not even pretend we don't need it. We need it so badly. Faholic, I guess, at this point. At this point in time, we can safely call ourselves a faholic. As Selena packs up her stuff, I notice she seems more distant than usual. Is something wrong, Miss Haraway? Hmm? Oh. That's a response, I guess. My agent called. There's a movie filming soon that's interested in me. Congratulations, that's great news. I don't know. I'm considering turning it down. Why? Filming might conflict with vice versa. My loyalty is to this show first. Why don't you speak with Lloyd about it first? Lloyd can be much too giving for his own good. He'd probably say yes no matter what. He's a nice guy for sure, but he cares about this project. If he needs you here, I'm sure he'll be honest about it. You're right. Sometimes I'm so comfortable with him as my friend, I forget he's also quite the professional. It might not be my place to say, but I think if you can make this work, you should go for it. Vice versa is great, but I think all of us want to see you do well in your career. Thank you. I suppose I will have to approach Lloyd about this soon. Selena looks down at her phone and sighs. <sighs> it's hard to tell if she's even happy about this, but for once it seems like she isn't disappointed. Selena, such a hard girl to read. I like to get her get to know her when she's more comfortable. She gets a little comfortable around us, but not quite all the way. Oh, music jumped a little bit. Hello. I stare at the clock on my computer. The first episode of Vice Versus finished airing hours ago. I glance at the message boards, but no one has posted anything about it. Seriously? I stare at the screen, willing a new thread to pop up, but nothing happens. The buzzing of my phone breaks through my concentration. Hello? Woohoo! Well done, honey! W what We just watched Vice Versus. Well done. Your work is beautiful. I'm so proud of you. Hey, Link, where's your bathroom? Down the hall on the left. Mom, is someone visiting you guys right now? We invited a bunch of our co-workers over for a viewing party. W what Your dad has been bragging about you to anyone who will listen. And several people who won't. You too. David, is that your kid on the phone? Sure is. Tell her she's cool. Hey, Sean, you're cool. Thank you. Anyway, we know it's late for you, so we won't keep you. Just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you. And we love you. Thank you. I love you both. Take care. And don't stay up too late. I hang up and look back at the untouched message board. There may not be any buzz online yet, but I've just gotten all the confirmation I need. I lie down on my bed and sigh in relief. Oh, this job might work out after all. Who needs that when we're working for Midnight Cosmetics though, right? Just watched the first episode of Vice Versus. Wow, just wow, who else saw it? I didn't have time tonight, but I will watch it as soon as I can. I love John Brandon and Knight Errant, so this is going to be great. I totally didn't recognize Selena Haraway at first. Is she really the same cute little girl from all those shows we watched as kids? Indeed. Oh, look. Look at that. Almost maxed out that sweet affection, though. Hey, Matthew. I can't remember what we did last time. So why don't we go get some sandwiches? Some nice sandwiches. Hey, you. Ah. He's, he's up on the fashion now. Oh, I like your jeans. They're a very popular style right now. Thank you. Let's get some sandwiches. Oh, I really like those. Why don't we share one again? I'd like that. Do you want to talk? No? No, you don't want to talk to me. Oh, Matthew. You said up to your mom for me. And for what? For what, sweet Matthew? Actually, I should go to... Yeah, I should go to town, and then work, and then not exercise, grief, blog, and then fuck again. This is our life now. Time to see Hitman Cavalt. We haven't slept much, so our grades are still acceptable. Thank you, sir. 
My blog's getting more hits these days. I earn $37 in ad revenue, and my popularity went up again. Excellente. That's what we like to hear. Almost maxed out that sweet charisma. This is good. This is very, very good. Okay. And of course our intelligence is going up without us doing much in that area. Hey, posters. Sean, 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 Sean! Lloyd races towards me as soon as I step into the studio. Y yes Look! Lloyd points at the wall. It's plastered with a huge poster for Vice Versus. That's so cool. I know, right? The network sent over a ton of posters. Not as big as that one, of course, but still great. There are a bunch in the break room if you want one. Thanks, I'll have a look. I head into the break room and find a stack of posters on the counter. Here for the posters? Yeah, I saw the one in the main hallway. Lloyd said I could have one. You can have more than one. Take as many as you like. I think I'm going to pay for a room at home with these. Rachel hoists up a stack of posters. Really? Of course not. I'm handing them out to friends. I'm afraid most of my friends are working on this project. More for me, then. It was still pretty neat when we could get Alvin a poster. I like that they had that little detail in there. Otherwise, we don't have any friends who are interested in this. Sad face, sad face. Okay, feeling better already. Check our mail, no. Vice Versus, the second episode was even better. I can't wait for next week. Selena Haraway's my girl. She totally rocked this episode. I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see John last week, but it was worth the wait. Seeing him as Vice is kind of terrifying. I don't know, I think he's kind of hot. Lol. I've never heard John Brandon use an American accent before. It was actually really good. Oh yes, Valentine's Day is coming up. Next weekend, anyone got any plans? Eat chocolate alone. Gotta be sure to go into town and buy a gift. But of course, we don't actually have a boyfriend. Pay no attention to the hearts. Matthew. Matthew. Do you wanna play the Lucky Chance Machine? <laughs> or talk a little bit? No, I just like to talk about my jeans. Okay. Super lucky chance machine. Too bad we're not super or lucky. Thank you for taking me back here. I had fun. So did I. Despite the sameness of our conversations. Okay. Vlog. Did I get away? Yes, probably. Let's try. Let's see how this works out for us. I regret everything. Yeah, I probably should have scheduled the fun. Mm. Well, I did okay, though. The atmosphere on set is a little more energetic than usual. Morning! Today's a fun one. What's going on? Crowd scene. Ah, oh, we get to meet Allison again. We've got a lot of extras coming in. They should all be here within the hour. Lloyd points at a room that some of the crew members have already corded off. Extra's holding is over there. They're required to do their own makeup, but keep an eye on them. If anything looks out of place, just give them a touch up. Will do. I wander by the room and peek in. There are already several people milling about. Their expressions range from bored to nervous. In the corner, a few of them are chatting about another show they worked on. Everyone looks fine to me, so I head to the makeup trailers to check on John. Good morning, Mr. Brent. <gasps> um. I'm sorry, I thought this was John Brandon's trailer. The girl looks around in a daze. She's clearly lost. What? Who are you? Lost and blunt. Are you here to film? Yeah, I'm an actress. I'm sorry, they told us just to follow the signs, but I didn't see any. Well, except for the sign on the door here that said Brandon. She throws her head back and laughs. <laughs> I guess it was stupid to think each of the extras would get a trailer. She holds her hand out to me. Alice and Brandon, nice to meet you. I accept her handshake. Same to you. And extras holding is that way. I point out the door and arc my hand in the direction of the hallway. Allison's gaze follows my hand. Mind showing me the way? It would really suck if I got lost again. I set my makeup case down inside the trailer and hold the door open for Allison. Sure thing, follow me. 
Allison bounds out of the trailer and quickly falls into step beside me. So I didn't catch your name. Sean, makeup artist. That is so cool. I heard the guy who played Moonlight Avenger used to be a makeup artist before he got more acting gigs. <laughs> Good for him, but that's not really my plan. Acting's not my thing. What? Why not? Acting is amazing. Allison skips ahead of me a few paces and spins to face me. You get to tell a story. Connect with people. Be a part of something bigger. And when you and other people can create entire worlds, it's the most amazing feeling in the world. Well, I agree that it's a good feeling to be part of telling a story, but my place is behind the camera, not in front of it. I feel myself blush a little bit just thinking about all the attention. But I think it's good that you like it. Allison grins and skips a few steps backward. Whenever I'm on stage or in front of the camera, I feel so much freer. Is that how you feel about doing makeup? I... I frown. I guess so. You guess? You don't know? I'm trying to figure it out. Well, you must be pretty good at it to be in a place like this. I could say the same of you. What, me? No, being an extra doesn't really require skill. We're basically just moving props. But you did have to get cast, didn't you? Sort of. There's a separate group that casts extras. They post an opening online, and the first people who sign up get it. That's all? Well, there are guidelines. Like, you have to look like you belong in the scene. But yeah, it's that easy. She holds up a finger as if lecturing me. Featured extras are different. They have to at least have the director approve their photos. They actually get to show up and have real face time. Maybe even interact with the actors. I didn't know there was a difference. Most people don't. I mean, extras are just extras, right? No one really cares. But it's worth it to just be here, feel the creative energies, and at least get what little experience I can. I'm so excited I didn't even get any sleep last night. She stops at a large sign on the wall. Oh, extras holding. There's the sign. There's the sign. Thanks for talking with me. It means a lot. No problem. Good luck today. Allison waves and bounds into the room to mingle with the other extras. What a girl. You definitely need that food. Bleh. Feeling better already. But not for long, unfortunately. Well, it went south so quickly. Apparently we're Matthew's exclusive makeup artist, but... Beautiful. Oh! Calling me on Valentine's Day, Matthew. Hello? Sean, um... What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. I just, um... I was wondering if I could take you out to eat today. Oh! Um, yes. I would like that very much. What's your favorite place to eat? Um, the small place called Pho 24, but it might be a little simple for your taste. No, it's fine. I want to go where you like. If you insist, I'll text you the address. See you there. See, that wasn't so hard. You're not really going dressed like that, are you? <gasps> Nicole! Nicole encouraged him to call Sean on Valentine's Day? It is 5,000% confirmed they are not dating. I repeat. This is not a drill. Nicole, who are you? Explain yourself to me, woman. Was that Nicole at the end of that call? Now I'm confused. <laughs> now you're confused? Well, she, she talked him into letting loose the hair. Not, not in the messy man bun today. Thank you for letting me do this. I think I should be the one thanking you for offering. Have you ever had pho before? Um, I'm not sure. That's okay. The oversimplified version is it's broth with rice noodles, meat, and herbs. But there can be a lot of variations on it depending on where you are. What are you planning to get? Um, well I like to eat spicy food when the weather gets cold. For some reason it just feels really nice. Then please order the same for me. The spicy soup here is pretty powerful. Should I really order that for Matthew? He's trying to impress her. I'm gonna save. Look at the cute little Matthew face I got in the corner too. <laughs> I'm not gonna order. I'm 
He's like, I don't know if I've been to a faux place. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna order something milder for him and see how that goes. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna inform him. Let me get something less spicy for you, just in case. In this instance, I would like offer if you'd like to try the spicy stuff, you could have a bite of mine, and then you know for next time. I order two bowls of soup and ask the kitchen to go easy on the heat for Matthew. The server returns with two bowls of soup, and Matthew tentatively tries his. Okay, good. Sean, this is really good. That's why it's my favorite. I slide my bowl across the table. How's the spice? Just right. I guess I can't really handle it with as much spice as yours. Yeah, I figured it might be too hot for you. Don't feel bad. Most people prefer it that way. I just think spicy food is perfect for winter. Matthew nods, determined. Then I want to try it with you next time. Next time? Of course. I'd really like to go out with you more. This is fun and you're nice. All right, let's go out more. But next time you pick the place. Uh... And then Nicole's home, bouncing off the walls. So how did it go? Tell me all the details. Nicole. All right, gang, you know the drill. What did you think of episode three? The mystery this week was a bit, little bit weaker, but Katarina's backstory made up for it. I know, right? I can't believe she cut his face when she was only 16. Girls got guts? <gasps> Heart is almost full and my fatigue is almost killing me. Well, he said he wanted to go out more. Are you gonna talk to me? Do you wanna go somewhere? <laughs> Maybe we should go dancing, because we just had some food. Try that. Hey there. Okay. Are you gonna tell tell me any new things, Matthew? No, he had fun. Okay. Well, that was a great Valentine's Day. One of my faves. It was so cute. <laughs> okay. Well, we definitely need to go to town twice to get rid of. Uh, Fatigue. I was gonna say get rid of pho, but I need the pho to get rid of fatigue. Never mind. I guess we'll get rid of eventually, one way or another. Um, and then we should go to town, to the mall. I want to see if I can run into Allison now that we've seen her uh, to get access to VG Zone. And then I think we'll just blog and work. That's what we're gonna do this week. See how that plays out for us. To the pho restaurant. And then the fun restaurant again. Buy soup. And then to the mall. Oh! Hi, my wing woman! How's it going? <laughs> Tell me all your stories. I just I was not expecting to see you here though. I came for another blonde lady, but I'm happy to see you. Oh Sean! It's good to see you again. You too. We don't really see each other outside of work, do we? And then it's all business. We totally need to hang out in our downtime. Nicole pulls out her phone and hands it to me. Digits here, please. Oh, um, sure. I punch my number into her phone and hand it back. All right. Her fingers fly across the screen and she fires off a text. A second later, my phone chirps. And now you've got my number. Call me sometime, let's hang out. We'll do. Laters! See you around. <laughs> Amazing! Okay, good. Because I recently found out we got like a. Oh, what was their names now? This is terrible. Jihei and Jiun situation here with Nicole and Matthew. If I spend some time with Nicole, not too much time, but a little bit of time, then I will be able to uh, get an extra scene with Matthew while I'm on his romance route, so I should probably do that. I'd like to get that. Um, well, I guess I don't need clothing, so, okay, well that kind of threw me off for all I wanted to do now. That's so much money. Should I just buy all these things and then use them? Yeah. Let's just do it. We're here. Why not? Bye, 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 bye. 
didn't break the bank. Too badly. All in all, pretty good. I'm shocked. I gotta check my hearts with Matthew. But I think, I think we're full still and we can probably go out with Nicole this weekend <laughs> for a change. That'd be kind of strange though. Another great episode. What do you think of Katarina's new partner? Seems like an obvious love interest setup to me. Ryan's cute. I totally ship them. I don't know. Didn't Vice say he's got a mole in the department? What if it's Ryan? Ugh, fine. You guys have convinced me. I'm going to catch up with the show online this week. Good, good, good. Okay, yes. That's full. Um, we could use one of our fatigue things, but let's use this first. Okay, our intelligence went up, I think. And charisma. 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 Okay, I think all of these. Okay. That's acceptable. Nicole. Hello. Hi, hi. What's going on? Hey, Nicole. Do you want to hang out today? Sounds like a blast. Where to? How about the coffee shop? I like to go to Cafe Diem. Cool. I'll see you there. All right. You're so cute. Hi, hi. Those jeans are incredible on you. They're super fashionable. Thank you. I like to get current when I can. So, what are we getting today? Oh, what should we get? Uh, I still don't really know how to read Nicole. She sounds, seems like a super fun person, but I don't know how seriously she takes her, her acting. Her acting. Pfft, not acting. Modeling. Should I be stereotypical? Should I get... Let's try a croissant, see what she says. Could you get a chocolate croissant? Okay, no, she doesn't like, she's not, yeah. I thought I would, I thought I would try. I'm really not sure how to read her. Salad? Spinach and feta salad? Oh, I love those. Maddie and I had them all the time. Sorry, did you want to get something different? No, it's okay. I think I'll like it more if I get to share it with you. Oh, <laughs> why does Matthew not care for the salad? Thanks for hanging out with me today. I had fun. I'm glad. We should do this again sometime. All right, we'll do. You're definitely not dating him. Nicole, my wing woman. We need to get closer. <laughs> okay, well. Gosh, jolly, golly, gee whiz, lilligers. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, well, we'll go to the mall this time and try to get to unlock VG Zone. And then I guess we'll blog work. Um, probably pho by then. Maybe another work. Okay. That's what we'll do. Um, the mall. There you are. There's my favorite makeup artist in the whole wide world. Hey there, how's it going? I'm doing great. I just dropped by to see if the bookstore had a game I want, but no luck. Oh well, it was a long shot anyway. I knew I should have just gone to Game Go instead. There's a Game Go around here? Totally. It's just across town. I didn't know that. And now you do. Life's great, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Um, I don't think I actually need anything from here. I'll just check this, but yeah, we got all the consumables. That's fine. We're good. Spring has not arrived yet, but that's fine. Needed to unlock the game go. I think up to this point I've been saying VG zone. I apologize if that's the case. I did mean game go. Bleh. Okay, feeling better already. My birthday is this Thursday. I think I'll allow myself to be a little selfish and take a break. Sounds good. I can't remember if our fatigue goes all the way down on our birthday. All right, vice versus. Freaking out about this episode. Is Ryan really the mole? You're freaking out? I just marathoned five episodes straight and I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Ryan has to be the mole. Vice couldn't have gotten that information any other way. No, I liked Ryan. Okay, hearts are still full. 
could use one of these, maybe. Okay, fatigue's gone. So let's call Nicole. All right, hey, hey, Nicole. Let's figure out what else you like at this coffee place. Let's figure you out, girl. Hi, hi. Hello again. So what are we getting today? <laughs> this is stupid. Now I'm gonna save again. Bleh. I just wanna make sure. Those cranberry and white chocolate scones look good. Oh, scones. Are those any good? You've never had any before? Contrary to popular belief, being rich does not automatically mean I take afternoon tea every day in a fancy parlor. I never said you did. If we went now with a hot tea, we can pretend it's a high-class tea party. I don't think I'm high-class enough for something like that. You're high-class enough for me. Aww. Nicole, you're distracting me from Matthew. You're so sweet. I have to watch myself when I'm with you. I'm so relaxed around you, I forget I'm supposed to limit my eating. Oh, I'm sorry. Diet? Always. Comes with the territory. When your next job depends on how you look, you've got to be strict about what you eat. That doesn't bother you? Not particularly. I like modeling. Giving up a few temporary pleasures for the sake of a lifelong goal is totally worth it. Plus, eating healthy just makes me feel better. I meant the part where your worth depends on how you look. I never said my worth depends on how I look. I said my next job depends on it. As soon as you equate your work with your value, you lose. Wise words. I do my best. Wow, she just dropped the bomb on us there. Wowie! Okay, well... I guess we'll just blog work. Blog and uh, work. See if our birthday clears our fatigue. If not, I got consumable books I can read. And Hitman Cavalt, I should still be good, yes? Your grades are still acceptable. Thank you, sir. And my blog is getting more hits these days. I earn $41 in ad rev. Popularity went up too. All the good things are happening. Interesting, interesting. Oh, I didn't do good work though. What happened? Good afternoon, Sean. It's been a while. Oh, are you back from filming Night Witches already? I feel like we just talked to you about that. Okay. It has. We missed you. I missed you as... Oh, good grief. These voices. I missed you as well. Really? Is that so surprising? It's just that we don't really talk that often. I'm afraid I'm not much of a talker in general, but I do enjoy your company. How was Night Witches? Did filming go well? As well as could be expected. I think people will like it. But I truly miss Lloyd's direction. Feels good to be back. Almost like returning home. Well, welcome home. Hooray, welcome home, Selena. Yeah, definitely need that pho. Oh, I didn't actually schedule pho. I'm hoping that her birthday resets us. Oh! Matthew, you're calling me on my birthday! How exciting! What's a bet? Nicole found out what, when our birthday was and was like, Maddie, you gotta call her on her birthday and take her out for a nice meal or something. I'm like, Nicole, no. <laughs> hey, Matthew, what's up? I knew it! Nicole, my wing woman! I love you, girl. Uh, um, Nicole says it's your birthday. Yeah, it is. How did she know? Something about a form you filled out for payment. I didn't realize she was so observant. She's good at things like that when she wants to be. I'll have to be more cautious around her then. I'm sorry. Was that supposed to be private? I'm joking. I don't mind if you two know about it. That's good. Was there something you wanted to talk about? Oh, yes. If it's okay with you, I'd like to take you out somewhere. For your birthday. I'd like that. Where do you want to go? Wait, I'm picking. Don't you remember? When we went out to the pho place, I said you'd pick our next date. Date! Uh, oh, right. Um, are you okay with the art museum? I've never been, but it sounds cool. Then I'll send the car to get you. Cool, see you there. The car? An art museum? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I didn't know Matthew was into things like that. 
Sean, he told you he loves painting and he admires painters. Why, why don't you pay attention? Look at this beautiful gallery. Goodness gracious. Sean, happy birthday. Thank you, this place is lovely. I can't believe I've never seen, uh, been here before. I'm glad you like it, but where would you like to go first? What should I do? Of course we should ask Matthew to guide us. Actually, could you give me a tour? Since you know this place better than I do. Of course. Matthew leads me into the first room and immediately begins explaining the finer details of the paintings to me. I've never seen him so confident before. He speaks with great enthusiasm as he explains the periods of art, comments on brush strokes, and the history of paint. You should become an art curator, boo-boo. Aww. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. This piece is my personal favorite. Whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, I like to come here and look at it, and I feel better. In a way, it reminds me of you. Aww, why'd I make you feel better? What? How so? A lot of people miss this one. It's not as fancy as other paintings in this gallery. But when you look at it, the brush strokes are excellent, and the colors are subtle and thoughtful. Oh, my heart, though. I think it's the most beautiful painting here. I hope it's okay to say that. As long as you mean it. Of course. Then it's perfectly okay. Now, I'm sure you've got other things you want to show me. Of course. Matthew and I spend the rest of the day at the museum. It's nice to see him so excited about something outside of work. That didn't reduce our fatigue, so we will have to use our books, but worth it! <laughs> Best birthday ever, I think. Ugh. So close to John's. It's so close to John's. I mean, for me personally, art museum would be tops because I love painting. But oh, Matthew, that was beautiful. But on to vice versa. This episode kind of blew my mind. There was no mole, but that doesn't explain how Vice knew all those things. I'm betting it's misdirection. Maybe he just hacked their computers. It's hard, but not impossible. Either way, Katarina looks pissed. If she doesn't put a bullet in Vice soon, I'll be surprised. Oh dear. Okay, and then I think we'll use that. Good. And then... Nicole... I don't know. I feel we... I feel like I should see Matthew. Sorry, Nicole. I will talk to you later. Hey, Matthew. Do you want to... You wanna grab a scone, like, with your sister? I just did that not that long ago. Hey. Okay. Let's get the scones. All right. You should have scones with Nicole instead of that nasty salad. <laughs> okay. He's like, oh, oh, like, I guess. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. A great Valentine's and a great birthday. Now I gotta f get my heart to settle so I can figure out what I'm doing this next week. 